Hey everyone, uh, yesterday, July 12th, I took a CKA exam and I received my badge. Now I'm officially certified Kubernetes administrator. I'm happy to announce this. I'd like to share my experience how it was not an easy uh, way. It took me three attempts, yes, not two, but three attempts to finally get this badge. So let me start from the very beginning. Apparently there was a bug on the scheduling system, on the scheduling platform. Um, I scheduled my first attempt uh, on 29 June uh, at 2 p.m. my local time zone. However, for some reason, it, it was scheduled at 2 a.m. I sent a support ticket to the customer service and I was really surprised that they understood my situation and they reinstalled, they restored my attempt. So I still have two attempts. They told me to be very attentive next time. The second time I tried to schedule the exam, it was a horrible, slow, laggy experience because I was among the first candidates who was taking the exam on the new platform. So Linux Foundation transferred to a new platform, PSI, PSIexams.com. It's a pretty famous platform, right? Uh, for some reason, the very first time I saw it, I didn't understand how it worked, uh, how the platform, the UI was kind of messy and clunky. I was confused, but the most horrible thing was the uh, was the lag time. The lag, uh, the lag was so high that it was actually it was it was painful and unbearable to be taking this exam. So I actually, I didn't wait until the end of the exam. I just uh, I finished the exam like 40 minutes earlier, and I immediately sent them the ticket like this. You can see the ticket. Hi guys, I just wanted to share about my attempt. This is my second attempt. If you switch to PSI platform, it's really bad in my opinion. Maybe my webcam on my laptop is bad. I had to take my photo ID picture three times. Yes, this this could be the problem with my webcam, but still. Uh, so I basically had to take picture of my ID three times for the proctor to see. Uh, the It was blurry. This is okay. Probably my fault. I logged in around 13.45 p.m. My exam set at 14. I spent about 30 minutes doing initial identity check. And again, like I told you before, this wasn't fun. The platform itself is kind of buggy and laggish. And yes, this second attempt, this second attempt was truly horrible because really you're typing uh, one uh, letter and you wait for it to appear on the screen. You know this kind of experience, right? When the lag is so high that it takes two seconds for you to see the letter that you typed on the screen. Uh, luckily this time they actually... Um, restored my second attempt yes they actually restored it again uh they were really nice this was really nice move from them i didn't expect that again big props i take my hat off to linux foundation really good job guys because i gave them this honest experience right i sent them the ticket please do something about the psi platform so they sent me this answer they told me that sometime yes it happens uh, so Basically, the third time was successful. The third time was July 12, 2022, uh, yesterday. Today is July 13th. I received my um, exam, my, my actual uh, recognition badge. I received it, uh, let me show you, yeah. So this is the official letter from the Linux Foundation. You've earned a badge from Linux Foundation, blah, blah, blah. You have your thing. Uh, anyways, in this video, I just want to tell you guys that the new platform that they're using, you might experience a couple of issues with this, such as, like I showed you before, uh, the horrible, laggy experience. I hope you will not experience it. Also, do pay attention to the time zone, because if it is 2 a.m. or 2 p.m., be very careful and pay lots of attention to the time zone. And uh, finally, prepare well, because... Uh, they say that CKA is kind of harder than CKAD that I took on February 11th, 2022, five months ago. But from my personal experience, I did not find it hard. I found it kind of, um, I found this exam okay. So CKA is kind of, uh, is kind of, kind of an easy exam for me. Or maybe this is because I prepared pretty extensively. Maybe this is because I prepared well. But uh, anyways, this is my batch. I'm really happy to announce now. I'm going for the third certification to finally finish my trifecta, the uh, the three badges. So when you have all three badges, this is called trifecta. Uh, yeah, so I want to collect all the three badges. I'm going for Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, CKS. And uh, yes, uh, the resources that I used were Killer Shell. Uh, definitely do use this one for CKA. The questions are a little bit harder, but that's okay. Uh, I used uh, Code Cloud from Moonshot. And I used some Udemy courses, some some Udemy uh, practice exams. Oh, I also used Cloud Guru. Yeah, so Cloud Guru, this exam, uh, this course in particular. Yeah, 
I did this one extensively, and uh, I think the hands-on labs at the end of this course are actually uh, very on point, and they do reflect uh, the scope of the exam, the content of the exam. So yeah, do this. This is my Cloud Guru uh, account. Yeah, so do take this course, do take uh, Killer Shell practice sessions, and do some Code Cloud. And do remember that now they're using a new platform. Let me show you. Let me show you guys. They're using the PSI Bridge Secure Browser. This is a special browser that you have to log in to use it. And yes, when I first logged in, I didn't know that there was a newer version. So I had to spend additional time waiting for this progress bar to finish. So be very careful. Like really do uh, do everything properly. Like um, time, basically you have to time everything. Okay, guys, you have to time that this uh, update might be uh, necessary for your browser to be up to date. So yeah, um, I'm very happy that I finished this uh, exam on the very first attempt. CKID, it took me two attempts. CKA, um, I did pretty well and I got my badge on the first attempt. So this is my experience, most recent experience taking the CKA exam.